In this video, we're going to look at an advanced smart tempo technique that will allow us to take freely recorded MIDI played with no time reference and tempo map it. I'm going to start by laying down a couple of parts free of the click. I'm going to hit play and then use my captures recording key command. Okay, I'm going to hit stop and then shift R to capture that performance. And you'll hear now that it has no relation to the click. I'll play it with the click. So again, with the click off, I'm going to lay down a couple of more parts that'll be in sync with this, but not with the project tempo. Shift R, and there we go, and I'm going to lay down one more part. Shift R, and again, they'll be in sync, but all out with the click. All right, now the first thing I'm going to do is take this bass part, and I'm going to convert it to audio. I'm going to bounce it in place. Control B is my key command for that. And I'm just going to leave the default settings, and we'll just mute the MIDI part for a moment. And now we have this, and I can open it up in the file tempo editor. I'm going to switch my smart tempo mode to adapt, and I'm going to hit E to open the file tempo editor. And very important here, I'm going to enable maintain time position of all regions. And this is important when we're working in adapt mode so that any changes we make to the beat markers here are going to update the tempo map here and also, in this case, keep the other regions in sync. And even though they're MIDI, they're still going to be kept in sync in relation to each other. Now, to work in the file tempo editor, I've got my volume up here with the metronome click so that I can hear how this is working with the beat markers and the tempo. So right now, if I preview it and my default key command is control in the space bar, we'll hear that it'll be out. So that's not doing any good. So the first thing I need to do, and hopefully the last thing, is go to remove original tempo and analyze again. And there, it's created my tempo map and hopefully successfully assigned that as the downbeat. And it looks like it has. Let's preview it in the file tempo editor and hear what it sounds like in here first. Good. So that's working nicely. And that should be it. Let's listen now with the rest of the arrangement with the click here. So that's working fine. So now I can mute my audio part, re-enable the MIDI, and I can work with MIDI with this tempo map now. So maybe I want to quantize these three and have them nice and tight. Let's see what that sounds like. And of course, because it's MIDI, it's no problem to just work at another tempo. If I create a new tempo set, I maybe want to have it, let's say, 120. And I'll go back to the original tempo set. Let's say I want to maintain the feel of my performance. And maybe I want to loop it, so I'm going to trim it nicely at the end of that phrase. 
And if I want to loop it and maintain my tempo adjustments throughout the loops, I'm going to leave it in adapt mode and I'm going to trim it right at the beginning of bar three so I don't get that pickup. That's fine there. And now I'll just copy these and make sure to include the audio region so that the tempo map is moving with it and it should loop smoothly. So that's a way to work with MIDI and Smart Tempo.